Hi Scorpio, welcome back. This is going to be your February 2022 reading. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, please remember to take what resonates. <laughs> I lost track of what I was going to say. But please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not fit. And also remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation. So I'm going to pull from the Priestess of the Light deck. Let's get one card for you guys. Okay, Scorpio, Spirit Guides, Angels for Scorpio. Please give me one card for Scorpio um, for February 2022. One card for February 2022 for Scorpio. All right, let's see. One card, Spirit Guides, Angels for Scorpios, February 2022. One card, please, Spirit, just one. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have some summoning power, in instinct, intellect, and control. Okay. Then we have number 33. You guys could be seeing 33. Some of you guys could be the ages of 33. Number six can be significant. <clears throat> okay. It says building your world, creation, expansion, and networking. Okay. So let's read from the book on this card. Let's see. For you guys, it's February. Let's see what that's about. Okay. So it says, a priestess of the bees sits, sits peacefully in the hollow of a tree, gathering the energy of the bees that fly around her and rest on her fingertips and third eye. She's surrounded by the honeycomb, and though her vision is turned inward, her thoughts are focused on outer plans taking shape. The bee is one of nature's most in industrious creatures, and, the, and this card foretells a time of great product productivity and expansion for you. If you've been thinking about growing your business or creating an entirely new one, focus on those intentions now. Your dreams may also include composing music, writing, teaching, painting, cooking, or baking, which are all projects that build on ideas and produce nectar for the body, mind, and soul. They do require repeated attention and action, so take time to create a plan, set some goals, and bring both the creative and technical elements together. The bee is also a symbol of fertility, so the expansion foretold here may, may relate to family matters, a child or children on the way, new in-laws through marriage, or even reconnecting with distant friends or, or relatives are all ways that you may be expanding your personal network. Yeah, that number six, that 33, which reduces to a six, is giving me um, the six of cups energy. Some Somebody from your past or something from your past, you could be, um, could be coming back around. It says, on a practical level, this card also indicates a career in architecture, design, or construction. It could also signify connections with people who do such work. You may even be building a new house or expanding your present one. The bees join together to assemble their hive structure and provide for their community, increasing value for all. Now is the perfect time for you to build the world you desire, so make your plans and set to work. Your affirmation is, I have the power to create my world and prioritize the projects that I desire. <laughs> oh, excuse me. As I continue to take action, my joy and fulfillment expand. Okay. So, yeah, like the book says, either you're networking, okay, um, rebuilding connections, um, making new ones. Some of you guys do social media work or um, maybe you have a business online here <clears throat> or I don't know, but let's let's just see. Very interesting. I like that energy. Okay, so let's see for Scorpio Spirit, February 2022. Then I'm going to um, 10, 10 on the clock. Those numbers could be significant. So maybe something significant is ending in your life here, Scorpio, and you are um, definitely moving into a new phase. I'm hearing like your... your um, you're free or like something about your world is opening up is expanding here you have more opportunities when you let whatever that is go um in february so let's see spirit for february 2022 for scorpio please give me um clear messages for scorpios february 2022 what could they be expecting for february 2022 please and thank you all right let's see Okay, so we have boredom. It says, bored of daily routine, wanting more out of life, longing for a change, constrained by circumstances. Okay, so you guys are feeling a bit bored or you're going to be a little bit bored. I feel like uh, spirit is going to be pushing you to step out of your comfort zone, um, you know, expand your horizon, do something new, maybe travel somewhere new, take a vacation, go out and meet new people so you can network for your business. You never know who you might meet. Okay, maybe, you know, even in uh, the terms of love here. 
but I feel like you're bored. You're, you're tired of the same mundane, everyday thing. You want to do something different. Okay, what else? This sounds like me. I was just talking about this the other day. I am a Taurus. Okay, I do have Scorpio on my chart in one, in one place. So let's see. What else for Scorpio? Y'all know I'm your sister sign. Okay, yeah, it says woman. Female friend enters your life. A female romantic interest. A woman will assist you. A woman plays a key role. Okay, yeah, so you're going to be meeting a, a woman. Maybe you're reconnecting with a woman or this woman is going to help you expand your horizon here. Okay, uh, they're going to, uh, this woman possibly will give you different opportunities um, for work or whatever. There could be a romantic interest here. Okay, that can actually help you. I mean, I would like a romantic interest that helps me, right? But I feel like you're bored. Okay, for some of you, you could, you could have been um, with someone that you just got bored with. This person... They didn't bring anything to the table or I don't know. You're just tired of whatever this is. What else? What else? Okay, we have alien. Feeling alienated in life. Feeling like you don't fit in. Dealings with a foreigner. New experiences in life. Yeah, it, it's time for you to, to step out of your comfort zone and do something new. Okay, because I feel like you want that change. Maybe it's just you're in your comfort zone right now. Well, Spirit is definitely going to be pushing you this February. You feel like you don't fit in with these people, places, or things anymore. You're outgrowing things. You're ready to experience something new. You could be going to a foreign uh, place here, wanting to travel to a foreign place, or yeah, you just don't feel like you, you're you here. Some of you guys could be star seeds. Okay, that's probably one reason why you don't feel like uh, you belong here. <laughs> you belong somewhere else. <laughs> what else? What else um, for Scorpio, February 2022? Lightning. Sudden fast change, taking action. Taking quick action, shocking events, love striking you unexpectedly. Okay, yeah, so something happening out of the blue. Things changing quickly for you. Let's see, what else? Or something is coming in quick. All right, ooh, yeah. Okay, so it says surviving, barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck, burnout is knocking on your door. No savings, limited resources here. Okay. So in the midst of this change, it might um, fuck with your finances a little bit, but I, I feel like you're coming out of that. Something's changing quickly here because you're going to meet somebody that's going to help you, that wants to help you. Because now we have reconciliation. It says restoration of former connections, apologies, forgiveness, trying again in a different way, conversations. Yeah. So I feel like you and someone are going to make amends here. This person is going to be like your support system. Yeah, under the moon, we have the past. So you don't know that this past person or thing is coming back around. Okay, you probably can feel it intuitively, but you don't know just yet or you're not sure. You don't have all the answers right now. So let's just see what else um, for Scorpio spirit. Why is boredom here for Scorpio? Let's see. I'm trying to get these a good shuffle the energy out of the cards i ran them through sage but i like to split the cards up so let's see why is boredom here for scorpio for, for their february 2022 what are they going to be bored of or what, what are they going to realize they're bored of <laughs> let's see <clears throat> five of pentacles nine of pentacles yeah you know for some of you it could possibly be a relationship or just um you're tired of struggling with somebody. It's like, I'm feeling like somebody has like a, um, oh, I need, my nails are chipping, ew. But anyways, somebody has like a, um, a lack of mentality, okay? And I feel like you're meant for so much more than the environment you're in or the people that you're with here, possibly. So I feel, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, you know, if you're in a relationship, you're going to become single and you're finally going to feel free. You're going to regain your independence here. Your money is going to look good. Your business is going to grow. You're definitely, I feel like, are going to be moving out of the cold here. Something about your finances are going to flourish during uh, February. I don't know which week or what day. But I do feel like um, you're just tired of feeling... Um, somebody could be in a codependent relationship or dependent on you. Or um, just energy vampires you're around or something. But let's see. What? Uh, why is boredom here for Scorpio? The fool, yeah, look at you, I'm ready to take that leap of faith. Or this is somebody coming towards you because they're tired of not being with you, not being around you here, whoever you're reconciling with. 
But you're, you're just ready to just say, fuck it. Like, I'm ready to take this leap of faith. I'm going to, you know, with the page of swords, I'm going to do my research before I do this and make smart decisions. But nonetheless, I'm ready, I'm ready to do something different with myself, right? This could be somebody watching you here. You could be bored. You could be waiting for this person to come back or you could be waiting for something here for some of you I'm hearing. But something about your circumstances, it could be your money. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be your money that's stopping you from doing something, but you're going to be able to do it, I feel like. I feel like you're going to be able to do it. But somebody here with the Page of Swords could be watching you. They want to bring some type of communication or tell you some type of truth, okay? But I do see you taking that leap of faith and stepping out on, you know, stepping out on faith and trusting the universe, trusting that your intuition is leading you down the right path. Okay, what else for boredom? What else for boredom for Scorpio? The Four of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, this you could be reconciling with your twin here with the Four of Wands. Um, like I said, you could be relocating here. You just don't... I feel like you don't fit in with a group of people, like a community of people. It could be family members, friends, or maybe like an ex or somebody that you were living with or around for just too damn long. And you're ready to move on from them. Okay, I just see you taking that leap of faith and moving somewhere else and going somewhere else. Yeah, the death card. And once you end that, the ace of cups and the hierophant comes in. Yeah, you're getting um, that new love offer. Could be from a Taurus or another Scorpio. or You are the Scorpio. Making that transition, transforming into something new here. But um, yeah, you guys are ready to... I feel like you guys want to move. You guys really want to relocate. I feel you. Somebody here really wants to relocate and go somewhere sunny. Go somewhere where it's always like warm outside where you can dress nice. And I don't know, for me, you know, the summertime, I dress nice in the summer. The cold, I just don't, I don't be outside. <laughs> outside just sucks in the cold. I don't know how people like that shit, but hey. Um, but um, the Four of Wands talks about like community celebrations, gatherings, getting together. So you could be getting together with someone with the reconciliation here. Cause you're tired you miss whoever this is or you want to reunite with them you see them as maybe marriage material um but i think this is like a new home or you're just ready to um yeah you, you just want happiness joy success expansion in your life whether it be relationships or work money uh, meeting new people um trying out new things making new experiences i feel like you're just ready in in the month of um february let's see what else for boredom could be Aquarius or Aries you're dealing with. Yeah, Five of Swords. So there could be some sabotaging behavior going on. So sabotaging behavior possibly. But this could be somebody else trying to stop you from doing this. Or take this leap of faith. And you're just tired of... You want more. You don't want to deal with whatever this is. Or whoever this is in this Five of Swords energy. <clears throat> it could be somebody that you're living with. That you're just like, I'm just ready to leave. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't fit in with these people. These people play too many mind games. They're very manipulative, controlling. Okay, they they do too much, <laughs> basically. They do too goddamn much. And I just feel like you're ready to go. Just period. I would be too. It's time to make new memories. Okay, you could be standing up for yourself in a situation. But let's just see. There could be some conflict. What is this, Five of Swords? Because I feel like once you do try to leave, it's going to be conflict. From somebody what is this five of swords the death card yeah somebody that you're, you're ending things with some of you could be getting a, a divorce i do strongly feel like you're moving out of a home situation but yeah you ended something you're transforming you're moving up you you're not staying stagnant so with that it's going to come people that are going to try to stop you or um just different like entities or just different energy around you that's going to try to stop your movements you know you know how it is when you upgrade your life you know so, yeah, when you try to end this, there's going to be conflict or deception or whatever this is. Yeah, from community people, people that you know in your community or family, friends. Yeah, what is woman here? Who's this woman for Scorpio? The two of wands. Okay, so. This could be you making plans with this woman or this woman is making plans for you and them here. I'm feeling like it's a you you and me thing <laughs> that just came out. So, you know, that could, that could be a thing. But the two of wands, um, you could be waiting here. You're waiting for something possibly. Um, or this is you just making plans. You're, you're trying to leave this situation. Um, you're making plans for you and this woman. Um, 
you're ready to expand. So you're trying to put those plans in action right now, right? I feel like um you have a decision to make or something like that. You're trying to make a decision. Let's see. Maybe you're trying to make a decision about a partnership with this person. You want to collab with them or something like that. Or you're going to. They could live at a long distance from you here. So there could be some traveling involved. What else for this woman here? What else for the woman card? The Ten of Swords. So there could be a woman in your life that hurt you, or this is you that's just leaving behind this betrayal here. Because you're, you're, I feel like you're going to meet this woman with good intentions. And you're moving away from this deceit, this betrayal. You're deciding to go. You're deciding to walk away and withdraw your energy, detach your energy from someone or some or a situation. Okay. Let's see. What else for a woman? The hangman. Yeah, something here. Um, You're releasing and letting go. You could be dealing with the Pisces. This woman could be a Pisces if you know them already. With the reconciliation card. <clears throat> yeah. So this is you releasing and letting go. Uh, you're letting go of something here, Scorpio. You're making sacrifices for this move, if probably for this woman here, because somebody here that you love. I feel like it's love. I feel like you do want to be with someone. But it just could be a partnership for some of you. Okay, it might not have anything to do with love. Yeah. Something here has been keeping you stuck, but I feel like maybe you see this woman in a different light or you're or I'm looking at something from a different perspective you're changing how you view something what is this hangman right here the temperance yeah could be a Sagittarius woman or you could be having Sagittarius in your chart or something like that but yeah you're being guided and things are happening in divine timing so that's probably why the two of wands is here you need to plan accordingly or wait for something or Something here is happening in divine timing. It's not happening on your time or this woman's time. <laughs> um, you're, you're, you're balancing yourself out. Well, this woman brings balance into your life in some type of way. She has maybe a very healing energy here. Okay, they could be a healer. This could be your soulmate. Because the temperance does stand for like reconciliation, soulmate, energy, harmonious relationships type of thing. It talks about patience. So you're being patient for something or your patience is paying off or this woman needs to be patient or you do. So that way you can release this, this hurt, this betrayal. Okay. Whatever that is. Yeah. But balance is coming into your life or balance is coming in with you and this woman. They play a key role in your life. All right. So let's see. You could be the woman. Just flip the roles. So let's see, why is alien here <clears throat> um, for Scorpio? Why is alien here feeling alienated in life? Feeling like you don't fit in. Yeah, you're moving away from this queen of cups in reverse person. They're childish. This person is childish. And they're, they're clingy as fuck. They're clingy. They're needy. They're emotionally manipulative. Okay. I feel like this person tries to guilt trip you a lot. You know, or this could be you, Scorpio. Feeling like... um. You're detached from a lot, like, uh, but I don't know. I feel like that's somebody else, really. Who is this Queen of Cups in reverse, Scorpio? The Queen of Swords. One more for the Queen of Cups in reverse, for Scorpio. The Three of Wands, okay. That's you putting those plans into action or waiting for your ships to come in taking new opportunities so you're moving away from a queen of cups in reverse i feel like this person what is this queen of cups in reverse with the queen of swords right here or matter of fact yeah what is this queen of cups in reverse with the queen of swords yeah you're i feel okay so this could be you here becoming single and just independent you want to be on your own okay you're regaining your independence from somebody that was clingy emotionally manipulative uh, very immature okay um this person kept you stuck for a while okay but you're moving away you want new things you want expansion you don't you don't you're outgrowing that person here i feel like you set boundaries you cut this person out so you could be single and you're you know have your own money i feel like maybe if you guys had assets with this person or i don't know this could be a baby mama for some of you baby daddy situation 
But this person is emotionally immature and they're, and they're insecure. You don't trust them. And I feel like they don't trust you either, but they still want to keep you around for whatever reason. Could be your finances. Because I see once you leave this person, your finances are going to blossom. But this person is very vengeful and spiteful. And they're, they get, they give you, like, that's what I felt in the beginning. Like, you just feel free because this person is so, they complain a lot. They're very depressing. They have a depressing energy. And they stifle your creativity. They don't, they don't want to see you grow here. So I feel like you're moving away. You're cutting them out. I feel like you spoke your truth here. Or this is them. Like, they don't have any empathy for other people. And they're very cutting and mean with their words. They're more cold-hearted than they are you know empathetic or, or sympathetic when it comes down to people they just they don't care how they make other people feel type of thing so i do feel like um you're moving forward you're leaving this behind you're waiting for your ships to come in or um you're trying to make travel plans now this is you pushing forward the three of wands does talk about uh, uh travel it could be for romance here you could be going to see somebody okay because you're free <laughs> you can go do whatever you want now Right? Because this person, I don't know, whether they want to let you go or not, you're leaving. So, doesn't matter, really. Yeah, but your business is going to flourish as well. Whatever you start here in February, I feel like it's going to flourish for you. Whatever ideas you have, put them into action because there is going to flourish. You're going to have um that money, that moolah. You're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor finally. Or you're going towards somebody that's like this. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're going towards that um, is beautiful. They enjoy the food. They're enjoying themselves. They could be seen in the public eye here. Okay. But let's see. What is um, lightning for Scorpio? The King of Swords. Okay, so now we have the Queen and the King of Swords. So your person here. Yeah, you're taking a while. The Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Something about your money, Scorpio, is definitely going to increase. Some of you guys are getting a big payout. Okay, there's going to be some good news about inheritance money or something like that. Um, uh, Maybe something that you want to invest in. It could be a long-term commitment. Somebody maybe giving you a ring here with the Page of Pentacles. It's going to last for a very long time. This marriage is going to last. This long-term commitment is going to last. It's going to be very strong. You guys together are going to be the magician right here. You guys together are going to be able to manifest good fortune, good luck, great things in you, in both of you guys' lives here. I feel like somebody wants to build with you. Okay, I feel like, you know, if this is you and your person, you're very intellectually, you're a good match here. You guys are very, you know, both smart, really intelligent. Okay, you guys are both honest and loyal. You guys really respect that about each other. Okay, things look like they've been rocky in the past due to someone else's past. Okay, it could be your person's past or your past. Maybe you have people and things that you needed to clear out. But I feel like there's somebody coming in with communication with the King of Swords. These cold, I feel I feel like both of your hearts, if, if you guys were cold towards each other, I feel like you guys are going to warm up to each other. <laughs> you know, this person could have went cold on you. You could have went cold on them. They could be just like very masculine. They don't, like if they show feelings, they feel like they're a bitch if they're, they show feelings. But I feel like somebody's trying to grow up or grow out of that. But this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, looks like they're taking action. Somebody realized they're in love with you or, or they want to be with you. What is this lightning here? Some of you guys could be like going into an interracial relationship or um, your person is a bit darker than you. You're light skin or they're light skin and you're dark skin or they're dark skin. The will of fortune, yeah. They're, this is going to um, turn in your favor. Something here is turning in your favor. It's good luck, good fortune great success i feel like um <clears throat> good karma is coming your way things changing quickly okay the wheel is turning or the wheel has been turning but now it's just like boom something's about to happen type thing what else for lightning six of swords and the four of cups yeah somebody's moving away from the um yeah eight of cups Somebody's moving away from the um the boredom, the stagnation, the um staying stuck in the past, missing opportunities because you're staying stuck in the past. And um I feel like someone's life is changing. Okay, I feel like someone's getting ready to change your life. But definitely some travel involved. Somebody coming towards you to talk to you, it looks like. I feel like, you know, I feel like it's the energy of just waiting. Okay, you could be just waiting for something to come in or something like that. But I do feel that um somebody is moving away from being stuck 
or, or just um being stuck in the past and feeling that uh depressed depressed energy discontentment okay you're moving away from that somebody's choosing to go down a path that's going to be better fitting for them and that is for them here with the will of fortune and I feel like once you do this, your money will increase dramatically. What is surviving? Barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So it could be a masculine energy leaving a feminine energy here. I feel like this masculine realizes that they they put their emotions into something that really they shouldn't have, okay? And they fucked their money up because this person, they, they sucked them dry when it comes down to their finances. Like, I don't know. But it could be a mat, or this is you. It could be you, Scorpio, that feels like um you're living paycheck to paycheck or you're, you're being burnt out. Is it because you have feelings that you want to express to someone here? Yeah, the king of cups with the king of sword. I feel like these are two of the same people. This person is changing their cold behavior. If they've been cold to you, I feel like they're going to be more emotional, more vulnerable with you and open up to you because this person could be struggling, but I feel like you are a part of their purpose. So they're missing out right now, right? They're missing out right now. But come February, I feel like they're going to possibly open up to you or tell you something because they've been hiding their feelings. They've been very cold. And I feel like they're being honest with themselves now and standing in their authentic truth about how they feel. And now you can have your guards up. You don't know if you trust this person because they've been so in and out of your life or the cycle has been long. All right. But yeah, and I feel like this person is going through finance, finance, uh, financial issues or having financial problems here. And they're also on the verge of burning out because they keep hiding their emotions and their feelings. Okay, that's it hurts when you hold on to things like that. You you want to speak up, but you can't. It's, it's that's painful to me, <laughs> uh, you know. But, yeah, let's see what else we're surviving. Scorpio, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're fighting for something or somebody's fighting for something or they're going to have that courage to speak up and say what they need to say. You could be blocking a, a King of Cups or you could be blocked. You have this person blocked or something like that. What else we're surviving? The Ten of Cups. You could be blocking some uh, family members or somebody that you have kids with. Okay, you could be blocking this person. Or this is just you standing up for what you want, standing up for what you believe in. Let's see, what is this um, Seven of Wands over here? Okay, the Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, this person is blocking you out maybe energetically a little bit because they're in Hermit mode. They're in isolation. They're trying to do some soul searching. Yeah, I feel like they found who they want and what they want. That's what they're doing. They know that you're their Ten of Cups now. They're fighting for it. They want to be with you. Yeah, with the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Could be a Taurus that you're going towards or is going towards you. But yeah, I feel like somebody's been soul searching and trying to get their shit together. Because it's like they're barely like... I feel like this person is realizing you're part of their purpose in some type of way. You're supposed to be collabing with them or something like that. Or they're supposed to be collabing with you. Because they, they, I don't know if they realize it at first. And they have feelings for you now. So it's going to be work and love here, it looks like. And the spirit is setting it up. It's going to work because sometimes work and love doesn't mix. Money and love doesn't mix, you know, business and that type of dynamic. But not everybody's is going to work out like that, right? I mean, not everybody's relationship is going to be bad, you know, when it comes down to mixing personal with uh, money. It can be good, right? Okay, so what is this um what is this King of Cups doing right here? Let me see. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person here, they've been disappointed or somebody here is disappointed here. You're disappointed in love, like you feel like you're just sad. Somebody's sad, okay, cuz they missed out on an opportunity with you with the Ace of Cups upright. They missed out on a on a opportunity and now they they could have gotten karma here. But I feel like something is going to shift for you and them. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, this is your person too. They released you and they chose a Queen of Swords person. Now they're moving away from this person. They're single now. And now they see that you're the one. They went through their karma or they're getting karma for that. It's, it has something to do with their finances or something. Maybe they breadcrumbed you and decided to give to someone else. And that's that karma is coming back to them because they didn't give to you, right? They probably had it to give to you. 
but they didn't they didn't give it to you when you guys were trying to deal with each other and they went and decided to give their time and their energy and their money to somebody else and now they're seeing you know they're getting a divorce they're moving away and now they're seeing how disappointing you know they're very disappointed in themselves that's why they're ghosting you or being quiet because they're realizing something about you yeah they're disappointed in the the decision that they made and they're very unhappy okay they're very unhappy um <clears throat> yeah they could be getting counseling here because they're trying to fight for, through their emotions yeah what is um reconciliation right here for scorpio the sun yeah okay so it's gonna make both of y'all happy <laughs> leo energy could be dealing with the leo it's gonna make you happy here this reconciliation so you guys want each other for some of you i'm so sorry if you guys lost a child okay had a miscarriage all right that could have happened here but you know i see it i see it happening again it's you know with the sun if you guys were having fertility issues pregnancy issues i see it happening maybe with this person that you're reconciling with you guys are meant to come together to make a spirit baby or something like that yeah page of wands as i said that in the seven of swords so somebody here stole that opportunity away from you or try to get in the way or something like that but you guys are meant to come together to make a baby or something or be together i don't know but this reconciliation is going to make you feel happy it's going to make you feel good it's going to be a success here with the sun or um whatever you're doing restoring these former connections you know which ones to restore and which ones to not restore right you feel it intuitively this person could be coming in with an apology what else for reconciliation for scorpio yeah the page of wands so definitely maybe a child is going to be conceived or something but um yeah it's good news coming it's good news coming in and it's going to be equal give and take the strength card with the eight of wands yeah and that's going to come as a tower moment this communication this fast forward move. i feel like something is taking off fast yeah yep so there's some communication coming in this person is coming in because they realize realize something about you they realize where their happiness and they know that you're the one they want to be with um so I feel, I feel like yeah you know this queen of cups in reverse is giving me you're less you're more head over heart now with the queen of swords you're more head over heart you don't really <clears throat> yeah you just because this person they need to come in and do the right thing because i feel like there's love here there is love here it's just a lot of disappointment with this connection or whatever this is so let's pull a um angel of love i mean angel among us card let's see what angel is going to be significant or um ascended master or um spirit guide is going to be relevant for your february 2022 so in the end it's, it's happiness here okay so let's see what else i mean not what else <laughs> so we have archangel jeremiah jeremiel it says reflections dreams and visions okay number 11 could be significant we have number one here with archangel haniel friendship moon cycles and psychic ability you guys could be seeing one 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 so let's get the book and see okay not right now let's get the book and see i swear all right so we have archangel jeremiel or jeremiah whatever however you say his name it says archangel jeremiel's name i don't like how i don't i don't know that doesn't sound right but whatever it means mercy of god and he is the angel who assists with life reviews at the end of our lives here on earth but you don't have to wait until it's over. You can start reviewing, reflecting, and making changes right here and right now. Archangel Jeremiel can help you to see the bigger picture, see potential futures and possible timelines, guiding you towards the choices and paths that are most in alignment with your best and highest good and your divine highest destiny. Archangel Jeremiel is the angel of dreams, visions, clairvoyance, and new beginnings. Okay, the oracle reads... Take some time out for reflection. Look at where you are and where you've been and take some time to really consider what is what it is you most want next. Yeah, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. 
they're seeing that their life is turned upside down because they're not partnering with you. I feel like you guys have some type of um, destined partnership here or something. Most definitely with these matches here on the board. It said, okay, so it says for love and relationships, reflect on your relationships and think about the changes you need to make in order for your relationships to grow and thrive. Okay, it says for work, reflect on your career goals and the path you are currently on. If you are, um, if your work no longer feels in alignment with the path you want to be on, make changes. For your home life, it says turn your bedroom into a dreamy sanctuary so that you can sleep and dream well. Ooh, I'm about to take that advice. Well, I have a little light in here, but anyways, it says money. Take a review of your financial situation. Look at all your expenses, set goals and create a budget. For your well-being, it says prioritize rest, early nights, and naps. When you give yourself time and space to rest, sleep, and dream, those important insights can come to you with so much more ease. And then it says for your spirituality, develop your clairvoyance and open your third eye through meditation, chakra clearing and healing, and using crystals, oils, and other spiritual tools. Pay attention to your dreams and the signs and symbols that you see in your waking life. Okay, it says call on Archangel Jeremiah for assistance with taking stock of where you are in your life, checking in with yourself. Reflecting on your goals and dreams, getting on your best and highest path for your memory, dream recall and dream interpretation, developing clairvoyance and starting again. Okay, and it says embody the energy of Archangel Jeremiah by taking time each day to reflect on your thoughts, choices and actions. Make the changes that will get you where you want to go in life. Dreaming big, holding the highest vision for your life and paying attention to signs, symbols, visions and dreams. Okay. So this archangel is who you can call on to help you with that, okay? To open up your third eye, your, you know, um, your uh, mediumship, your clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, you know, all that good stuff, right? So you can uh, be more clear about where you need to go and what you want. So more messages can come to you. You won't be confused, you know, that type of thing. So this was your reading, Scorpio. This was a pretty good reading, all right? It's just somebody is realizing their fuck ups and hopefully they come back and do the right thing because they coming back whether you take them back or not. The ending is happy, so some of y'all want this, right? So like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.